All right, everyone, welcome to Oxenfree. Now, this is a game that came out in 2016. It is a graphic adventure game. Um, and it kind of plays out like a novel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on what goes on in this game. Um, I've played it. I played it on my old channel. And uh, I was able to do it in about six parts, each a little, a little bit over an hour long. So these will be longer videos. Um, and there's something to do with, like, radio signals from, like, outer space and, like, maybe time travel or timelines. I'm not too sure. It's, it's one of those games that gets you thinking. So, we'll, we'll start right here. And I think this takes place on the east coast of Canada, I think. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Okay. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. I'm going to turn the game down just a little bit. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like so, 10 so, uh, X, Y, and B to say things. Rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So we're the blue-haired girl. Um, Here, I'm moving. Not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw. Can I run? That's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't He's know... He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. What's up here? you seem cool, right? Cool guy, just stuff. cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? I did notice. I um, did notice that. It's a little hush hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back so we can spend the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. Ugh. It's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> well, we know who's talking. It's a recording. They always play. Oh. Oh, oh. We should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, Asian Zero, AIDS guy. Um, I won't say anything there. Here's good. So, based on what you say, the the game will the game will change based on what you say. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie. Which I played because oh. that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But, anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Oh god, do we have to? <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We 
must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Oh, we're getting close to rocks. So yeah, so based on your your options for what you say, um, things change. The ending will change. I think there's multiple endings to this game. Uh, I know there's at least two. So yeah. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're... Uh, nah, smoking kills. Uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. How old are we? Should be up and around the bed. Actually, that. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. So... Fast. Thanks, man. So see, that was an... I think that's... In case... Whatever... I think that was an option where I've, I've made a, a choice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy he is. back home. Why not? Yeah. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family- Hold on. Why is the music so loud? I can't change the music. Okay, cool, cool, awesome. But yeah, there's photos, which we got these ones here. And then there's also letters. They're like collectibles. I'll try to find them. I don't know where they all are, though. like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's... You live in an attic? Bed. That's dope. I was in yeah, no problem. Anytime. I don't mean to cut them off. I just don't know when they're going to stop talking and I don't want to... I heard your mom's dead. It's I love nice. how we don't just start off with that. Yeah. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. What's in the car? Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. So yeah, we're not super zoomed out um, like we were on the boat. You coming, Jonas? We're not all super zoomed out on the boat. You guys can actually make out details now. So, that's nice. radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. All right, so pull out the radio, 10... I think they said it's 102.3. 102.3, so about in here. named that from like the 70s but it was like literally marines fighting with satan and dinosaurs or something okay now it's repeating 
So yeah, you guys can pick up radio signals like that. They just said it doesn't work on the island, which, you know, obviously it does, because that was going on. Parks and facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. You like tall women, Joseph? Uh, Jonas? That's what you're into? Tall women? Six foot eleven? Damn. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. true. and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, hey, Ren, what's up? definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Abba. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? So, there's these things that tell you where to go, Main Street, Discovery Cliffs. We're heading to Discovery Cliffs. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry... Oh! There's a map. I didn't know that I... This is new to me. So yeah, there is a map, uh, and it takes you to all this map of the area. So, Main Street is just the drop-off point. I don't think we'll be coming back here, but uh, we go all around and... Told me that there's a way that you used to get over yeah. here, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Uh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. So, yeah, so Anyways, you just gotta push this open. Mutants. Hey, Ren, it's great that you, like, have all this stuff, but can you help? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be, like, a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought for radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? I do not care. I literally could not care less. Yeah, there's a lot of talking. <laughs> Some old crone who lives on the island. There's obviously people who live on the island, though. There's, you know, oh, uh, 9 p.m. I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl. No, no. Okay. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her. And I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like... Just how you can be. Can I? Oh, I have to press oh, A. Okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Jonas, where are you Did going? You one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange town and fitting in and every stupid cliche you can think of. I'm not. It's not what it was, really. I just like to take the time to make proper introductions. That's all. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah. I hear you over there. Hey guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh well, that can wait. The Spider-Man our way down here. Hey. Jonas, are you gonna? Fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny. So. This is Jonas. Yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. I feel like I'm cutting people off. Hi. <laughs> and Jonas, that's. Who are you again? Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah, you think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your. I like this friend group because it reminds me of my Chris? actual friend group. Oh, she's <laughs> stepbrother. Like, what does that even mean? Um, um married his dad, so yeah. Really yeah, well, I guess kind of how step siblings happen. Thing that is happening, 
so... Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm... How do you do, my fellow kids? <laughs> Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend. Who didn't think we could make... Let's go. Most of it's just filler. Like, if I stand there, we'll be here forever. Basically, Clarissa's rude and Nona's kind of cool. But Clarissa's like that mean girl from the 90s movies. Yeah, don't worry. This becomes a lot more interesting, I know. You just gotta get through this first part. Then there's weird stuff that goes down. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm a <laughs> Jason Kruger! Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a... we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. Ooh, truth or slap. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? I find if I hold down my response, it waits until the next sentence. Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo before you slap someone. You get asked Holy hell! Look at the arm on on Ren there. Gets to slap you. It's a good uh getting yeet. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah. Fun. An excuse to hit run. I would love to play this, my friends. Whoever I don't know, there's girls in my friend group. I don't I don't see how I feel about that. Ooh, right off the right off the bat. Have you ever stole something? Not super Yeah, you don't go right off the bat with that. Probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, oh liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! Uh-huh. Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm helping you out, bro. I can do it. You can practically smell it on her. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, so <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not in Canada. A thing for hockey, so. Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? Oh! It's fun! It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Marissa, obviously. <laughs> oh, I don't want to kill Nona, though. Obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. Which means, of course, that you'd smother poor Nona with a pillow. Really? Nona? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got what was coming? Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Vincent, yeah, exactly. I'd probably kill me too. <laughs> Jesus. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor. You know, Clarissa, you called for it. This is pretty fun just watching. I'll admit. Um, what's your worst fear? 
that Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. Really? Dying with too many regrets is your worst fear? Not being trapped in a locker with scorpions or something? No, because I'm not five. Gersa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. Oof. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again, and... Clarissa, why you gotta be this way? Divorced your dad, so let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't, I don't really need Clarissa, to... Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy... You know why. My... Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Clarissa, I'm gonna drown you in the water. What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's, yeah. let's not stop like this. We should... Like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger oh. hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie... Happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish? You be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's just fine by me. Well, I want to celebrate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm <laughs> very clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> so this okay, is where we get to explore on. the caves which are beyond this fence. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yep, yeah, anywhere but here. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. I better not spill my beer. Come on, I'll push you <laughs> over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never Whenever talked about you're ready. Oh, what, the So, date? the cave. What's your Don't care about John or his date. How weird's it gonna be? I don't it's not know. that weird. Brens pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so... <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like a high me thing to do. Right. Hey, Clarissa seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true. Kind of. Thanks for uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I, didn't I, think you I totally did, though. You know, you could have, and you didn't, so... I did, though. Yeah, Ren, <laughs> didn't I? About Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I go for it. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you only live once, so... Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna How do we get back? Magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brown oh, you're Give me the one. only one? Give me. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting oh, for come on, man. For this. Why gotta, yeah, maybe you gotta bring enough to share with the class. The balloon for this anyway. That's rude. Mm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids yes. before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just turn mm -hmm. the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Oh. How will we know when it's 
You'll know. Trust me. So, just pull out your radio. Any day. I it's already out. While we're young, please. Ren? Shut your Seriously, mouth. Seriously, Alex, just pull out your radio and tune it. Ren? Oh, it's red now. What if I go back to... This is not, this is it, right? Ren, it's coming from you. Okay, well, you said stand about here. Okay. Ren, you're full of shit. Hate to say it, but you are. Because there's nothing else. I'm pressing buttons. This is it. Okay, wait, wait, can I pick up any other signals on the other rocks? I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. Hold on, let me let me figure this out. Just oh! Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. Doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too. I think. Like over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay, so I guess I wasn't on the right thing. Oh. This is so cool. I know. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but. They, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? I don't know. She dated my brother, who cares? She's a monster, who, who cares? cares? It doesn't matter. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way. She had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's <laughs> the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. Does that make sense? Kinda. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. By this other pile of rocks? Because all the other ones were by piles of rocks? If you want to bring oh. it on over. Uh, it sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. It's like up on this ledge. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Doing something. Oh, so well, we can't get up here. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last. No, I see it too. 
I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. All right. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Shut up, Ren. I know you're high, but... favors the bold. <laughs> uh, Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> oh. That is not where I was on that picture. Yeah, that took me a while to figure out. I didn't... I, I kept... I don't know. I just... Eventually, I was like, I'm just going to go to each one. Because... Yeah. 10 p.m. Where's Jonas? Oh, yeah, I know. Jonas? Jonas? Yeah, screw this. I hate this. I... I cannot do cave ex ex like splunking. Maybe if it was, like, wide and open, but... Kind of like, this is okay, but, like, if it's, like, a really tight area, no. I'm good. Jonas, where are you? Where are you, Jonas? Oh, there's a... It's hard to see sometimes where, where, if there's, like, a ledge or something. Do I hear footsteps? Or is that just water? Oh, but I hope it's water. If there's footsteps... Oh, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta Spider-Man a little bit more. Spider-Woman, I guess. So my name is Alex, right? Oh, I can't go that way. Where are you seeing that? <laughs> it looks like a puddle to me. Look at that water, though. How reflective that is. Ah, mmm. Mmm, that's... See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Okay, well, let's remember that. A man about a dog. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. Well, yeah, someone it's wrote, uh, "Look for a man with a dog and ketchup all over this wall." This happens. It's crazy. It's honestly creeping me out. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but I mean, it's all just a cave, just a natural cave. Whoa! Like, see. That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kind of? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me. I feel geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. All right, a little further. So I crawled in here to get you. Might as well make the most of it. Yeah. And I mean, look, if some of these cool, lights we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. Keep going, I guess. Where is all this light coming from, though? Whoa, crystals. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. What? Wow, how is that? Did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Oh, it is. There's something up there. Um, yes. It must be like a... Like up at the top of the cave. Or like a reflection of light? Did you see these rusty right? uh, cabinets? Um, cave 
triangle rainbows? It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. <laughs> cool. Well, if I did, neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Oh. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it Oh my god. Oh, it's doing something. This, are you, is this you? Are you doing this? Uh, I, I think. I can't even, like, what is, what's? Is it, it, what? Uh, is it opening a gateway? Kind of looks like it might be a gateway into, like, you know, the demon realm. Should I be doing this? It feels like I shouldn't be do- oh! Well, that's fun. Investigate the thing, and there was words. I saw the man, but not the dog. Saving, that's never good. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember anything about this game. Alex, Alex. Oh, good, we're, we're all fine. Where are we, though? Alex? Are you okay? You all right? I... think so? I don't know. God. Do I look all right? You look... alive, I guess. That's good enough for me. I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really... No, Clarissa? we can leave her here. I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. Well... Maybe not, Clarissa, but the rest we have to round up first. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are going to shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. This is a communication tower. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something. Opened a portal into something, the nether realm. Something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Yes. So that's a good, that's a good, good thing to have. You can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? 
They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> eh. It's locked. Let me try. You can do it. It's locked, Jonas. I'm not playing here. No, I know. Just give me a second. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? There's an open window right here. It's not an expression. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Voila. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. Ah, you perfect. Know, radiation. Normally find this My favorite. Kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks. I guess. Fence should be off now. Great. Oh, perfect. But, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Is, um, is anyone there? That's it's, comforting. Um, dead. You just saw it working. It's not. It's obviously not dead. What do you think, Jonas? Someone was there, but I don't know. There were murmurs. What do you think, Jonas? Did you hear me talking to anybody? Do you understand with how a radio works? No, you don't. All right, so I guess we just go back down to the fence. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. What's it's the note say? Call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. <laughs> Okay. So it doesn't make... Jesus. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> we both said that at the same time. Pick up phone! Hello? Hello? Alex? Alex? Ben. Oh, Jesus, oh, Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just DEF CON Why how did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see- Is it demons? Oh, I bet it's demons. Seriously. Is it demons? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering this? It oh, it is a demon. Where are you right now? Clarissa. Calm tower. And Jonas is Goodbye, Clarissa. Okay, look, Clarissa. Friends on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together... Wait, 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 then... I, I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care. Yeah, sure, we'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know, I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Okay, so she's dead. And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Perfect. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told right. Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren's nah. kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the fort. Clarissa's with no Nona, right? Go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more, and he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Okay, so save Ren. All right, so we are at Harden Tower. So we need to go down to. 
Uh, we probably can't go to Tohe Woods, then Upbridge Stand to Edward Woods. And Kerlura says at the U.S. Okay, so it is in the U.S. The U.S. Army R.C. Okay. Uh, we probably have to go down through Epiphany Field. No, because that just leads to Main Street. Okay. Uh, I think we have to go to Tauhe Woods. All right. Our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like... Badasses we are. So where's Nona? Is she with Clarissa? Yeah. Righteous. <laughs> Righteous, my man. Can I run? I feel like I should be able to run. Jonas, why do you just freeze in spots? You coming? Okay, bye, Jonas. What's wrong with Harden Tower? I mean, I get it, the, you know, but what are we, 12? If you guys are in the US, you guys to be drinking, you guys are at least, you might be drinking illegally, so you know. But let's assume you're 21. Let's assume you're around that age. You don't look it, but. Okay, so we need to go to Epiphany Field. So you guys can see that stuff has already kicked off. Also, I bought a new chair, so you guys won't hear so much sque uh, squeaking now. It, not that it was a big problem before, but you know. Okay, where does the sign say? How are you uh, doing? What does the sign say? Yes. Okay, we're not going that way. Just checking, you know. Okay, how are you? I'm doing fine too. Fine okay, Towie Woods, yep. Good talk. Yep, good talk. Love that. So, okay, so Alex has a dead brother that Clarissa was dating. That's how I know her. I um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is Jonas like a, is my like stepbrother. Forest. If, What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type. Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy. And oh, then sorry I'm guys, outdoors. I didn't I turn off my sure, phone. You know, that we know where we're going. Hold on, I just... We the reason I didn't turn off my phone is because I'm... Right. I'm waiting on a text. Great. Okay. Really okay, let's keep going. Or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. <laughs> he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. I just kind of want to let him talk. I don't, I don't always need Alex to talk. So knifing, so maybe we're not in the U.S. because maybe we're in London. <laughs> maybe we're in Winnipeg. What's down here? Looks like that's another trail that goes somewhere. Alright, where are we? Whoops. Uh, okay. think we're going the right way. This looks like the gate on the map. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. Whatever, Jonas, go! I can't read this plaque. Okay. What does the sign say? Towie Woods, Bridge Stand. We need to go to Bridge Stand, right? God, I keep... Yeah, Bridge Stand, okay. I keep pausing when I don't mean to pause. I think we'll go see what Ren is up to and then cut the video there.
Because right now we're just kind of on the way. Okay, we got two paths here. Okay, where does this go? Okay, that goes back to Towie Woods, so we don't need to be here. Sorry, Jonas, I'm wasting your time. Don't bother following me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I see bridges. Sometimes it's hard to tell where I'm facing. Um, okay. Why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? It's not a cable car. It's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. Look, it's a little scary, but... Rain needs us, so... Yeah, the smallest go, cemetery. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, okay, it's so we're in the 1800s. Jeez, okay, so we're in the Pacific well, Northwest. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Oh, I can't go any further. Okay, so I didn't need to come down here at all. Okay. Come on. Also, I think the notes and photos are collectibles. They might be, they might not. Alright, so this is to the campgrounds. Okay, but Ren's not in the camp... Or, yeah, Ren's not in the campgrounds. Oh, we gotta go to the campground. Do we? Well, she said Ren needs us. So, yeah, I guess. I guess that's the direction we're gonna go. But I wanna check out what's up here. Because that thing over there, I don't know what that is. We'll check that out too, but I just want to see what's up here. What's this? What's all this then? What is this? Oh, wait! Okay, there's another one of these actually down by the smallest cemetery. I didn't realize that those were piles of rocks where I could tune into things. So we have to go back and see that. Actually, wait. Okay, hold on. We're all, I'm, I'm going to go back and see that. Uh, we're, just, we're already up here. I just want to hop across and see what's over here. Whoop. Whoop. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Is that... That's all that's up here? Maybe I need an upgrade to the dial. I'm not sure if you get upgrades in this game. Okay, we'll go down and tune into that other anomaly down by the Somala Cemetery. This is... No. That's not an anomaly. It's going to look like a pile of rocks, not just natural rocks that would be sitting there anyway. Okay, what is up here? Power transfer station 167. Oh! Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I, I found mean, the circuit breaker. Somebody should... Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Or not... I guess. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. Terrific. You'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You forces. know Ren. Really if someone were to get electrocuted... Well, maybe if we... <laughs> All right, I... You can catch up on I circus. thought Jonas would stop talking. It's some kind of circus sense. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. Um, well, here goes nothing. Uh, what's happening? Oh, we. I don't know, Jonas. You tell me. You flip the thing. 
There's only one thing to flip, Alex. It's not like there's an array of things uh, here. I don't know why ideas? it didn't work. The uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up oh, I'm getting some. About our bad luck. Oh, hey, that wasn't cool. What was that? That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Oh, we need to come in here anyway to get f power to the... to the thing. Okay. Well, um, we saw a, 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 a creepy clown, scary demon thing, so that's fun. Uh, was that there before? It was not. Don't Alex, sit in it! Are you... All right. Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of fun. It was worth it. All right, we got one more thing to check out, then we'll, then we'll head to the campgrounds. There it is. Easy. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has served him for this very thing. Easy. Hmm. Okay, that's creepy. This, this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Yeah, you're right. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you. Man. Says you, man. <laughs> All right. So actually, I'm gonna leave this episode here because uh, we've been recording for over an hour now, and like I said, um, so we're gonna leave this one here. And the next one, we will go save Jonas and Clarissa if we feel like it. So anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.